In this video, we're gonna check out the 1.2 firmware for the Deluge. This time, we're gonna look back into the chord memory mode. I'm just gonna show how to use the chord memory in a clip and how you can live record it and just show the workflow. These are clips. Each pad is a clip. So we have two synths here and a drum kit. So these are previous clips that I've made and now I'm just gonna show you how to do it from blank. So we have a drum beat here. And let's enter into this clip. Now we're gonna enable the keyboard. If you hold down the keyboard key and turn, we can change to different modes. This is the chord mode and it's on rows mode. For more details on that, check the previous video I made. To switch the modes on the keyboard, you can check it here. We're on song chord memory and here I can just play them out. So you record a chord memory by pressing a chord and then pressing on the pad. You can delete them by holding shift and then pressing the pad. So what I'm gonna do is just press play and just figure out what chords I wanna play for this clip. So once I figure that out, what I want, I just press record and play. So I press record right before it looped around. Now I can turn off the keyboard and then we can scroll and we can see the actual pattern. We can zoom out, we can see all the notes here. So I'm gonna go into that synth. We're gonna go into the keyboard. And now I have the same chords here because we're in, you can check it here. We're on song chord memory. So it's sharing the same chords. I can turn it again. And there's also clip chord memory. So now let's listen to what these sound like. So I have the arpeggiator on for this synth. So we'll do the same thing, record, press play. Now I turned it off, so now it should be playing right along. Same synth, just a different clip. And each clip you can change the parameters. So let's start at low on the cutoff, turn up the reap. Let's turn up resonance a little. Now let's enable this synth. Let's enable the drums. 